Danny Segura here in New York City for MMA Junkie at the Bellator Media Day, standing next to Douglas Lima, Bellator welterweight champ, who will be competing for the middleweight title here uh, on May 9th against Gegard Mousasi for the vacant belt. Uh, first of all, how are you feeling? You got this opportunity to become champ champ. Uh, you're not facing a champ per se because this is for the vacant title, but nonetheless, you're getting the opportunity to add another belt to your legacy. Um, how are you feeling uh, ahead of this big opportunity? I feel amazing, feel good. You know, training's been going good. Uh, don't have to worry too much about cutting weight, so uh, I think I'll train even harder, yeah. you know what I mean? Because uh, hard to do it when you're hungry. You know, I uh, think more injuries comes that way when you're cutting a lot of weight, so it's going to be good, man. I feel good about the matchup. You know, he's good striking, he's good on the ground, complete fighter. Uh, man, just looking forward to having another belt, you know what I mean? He doesn't have the belt in my books, so he's a champion, though. You know what I mean? He's been doing this for a long time. He fought the who's and who's, you know, of the, you know, of MMA, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I mean, he's just standing right there. He fought Lovato to a close fight, so he yeah. was just champion yeah. a, a little bit ago. What'd you make of that fight, and, and did you think he did enough to win it? Close fight, very close fight. Uh, I got to look at it again. I know it was close, you know, to really see who won that fight, but. Uh, it is what it is, man. He lost it. You know what I mean? It was a close fight. He was going to get that rematch. Unfortunately, that happened to Lovato. He couldn't yeah. make it. And uh, I'm just great of, grateful to jump, you know, jump into this you know, opportunity. You know, Scott gave me the shot and um, just making the most out of it, you know? Yeah. Obviously, a very unfortunate situation with Lovato having, uh, you know, some some issues with his brain. And he, well, he, he's okay, but he doesn't want to risk fighting and, and right. have something happen. So very unfortunate as far as his yeah. career goes. But are, are you in a way maybe happy because, I mean, you could make a case that Gegard Mousasi is a much bigger name than, than Lovato, right? Yeah, on that side, yeah, of course, because uh, once I first asked for the fight, you know, Lovato was the champion. I mm -hmm. didn't know he was okay. hurt, so I didn't really specifically call out Mousasi. I just wanted the middleweight title. Yeah. And then when I heard about that, you know, of course, it sucks for Lovato, man. It's just a very unfortunate thing. But I'm definitely happier with the matchup. You know, Musasi, like you say, is a bigger name. You know, he's, uh, you know, he's been doing this a lot longer. You know, he's got titles. Titles. So something's going on over here. It's probably Patrick Pitbull in the yeah. boys fighting. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, it's definitely the bigger fight. You know, so I'm more, I'm more excited about yeah. this one for sure. Yeah. And uh, the, the whole champ champ thing has been picking up steam in, in, in yeah. Bellator. Um, is that something you had in mind for a long time that you wanted a second belt? Because, you know, we've seen it, you know, at lightweight and featherweight, obviously light heavyweight and heavyweight. Is this something that was in your mind? It was always in my mind, even, you know, even before all this champ champ talk started, because I thought about middleweight a long time ago. And uh, I think just timing, you know, timing wasn't right at the time that I wanted to move up. This is the right timing. You know what I mean? Like I said there, you know, I've beaten all of the top six guys in Bellator, you know, at welterweight. Uh, I don't have an opponent right now at welterweight if it's not a rematch. So, man, why not go for bigger things, you know, go for another belt, a bigger name. And uh, I think timing for this was just perfect. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm very happy, happy and grateful for this. For this one for sure. Yeah. You recently posted a photo with UFC champ Kamara Usman, and I yeah. think that really caught people's perspective on how big you actually are at <laughs> at, at welterweight. Um, any chance you, you know, you stay at, you end up staying at middleweight, or do you think uh, you'll still go back down and, and defend that title? Um, I might just stay at middleweight, <laughs> but no, I like the so far. I like this. You know, I'm, can't wait for the fight to see. You know, to test out the strength. You know, how the size will play out. But no, I got some more work to do at welterweight. You know, I want to defend both belts. You know, I want to win this and defend both belts. Um, stay active. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just more, 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 more opportunity for me to stay more active. You yeah. know, I want to do like three to four fights a year. And uh, at middleweight, it would be easier because I cut, you know, I'll cut less weight for that. So uh, I just gotta win this fight. Yeah. Man. Gotta win this fight so that way I stay much more busy. You know, I'm 32. I want to enjoy this time. You know, I'm healthy. You know, maybe for four or five more years, you know. So I got to make the most out of it right now. Yeah. How much do you cut to make Walter Wade? Is, is it bad? Uh, it's pretty bad, you know, <laughs> around 30 pounds. Usually 30 yeah. pounds, you know what I mean? But uh, it always sucks. Man. Once I get for 185 to 170 to cut the water weight, it's terrible. Yeah. I mean, I always do it, of course. You know, I never miss weight that I don't remember. <laughs> you know, it's a job. You know, I have to do it. I'm not complaining. 
but uh, it's definitely easier on the body at middleweight. You know yeah. what I mean? So so far, so far, so good. Yeah. And and what would a win over Gegard Mousasi and becoming champ champ? What what would that add to your legacy? Because often you're talked about being one of the best uh, in the world. Obviously, you know, compared often to other UFC champions. Um, what what would it add to your legacy? Everything, man. It's like pound for pound. You know, I want that. I want on that pound for pound list, and I really think a win over Musasi would get me there. You know. Uh, this we raise all that talk. Oh, he doesn't beat anybody. You know, he's not in the UFC. He doesn't belong in the top. Listen, man, Musashi beat top guys in the UFC yeah. and middleweight. You know what I mean? Look he what left this, as a top guy. He left as a top guy, right? Four straight wins. You know, he was killing everybody. You know what I mean? So, man, that's why I wanted this fight. You know, that's why I like this fight a lot better than Lovato. Cause, man, Musashi is the man. He's the man. Yeah. I go over there and I beat him. You know. What are people gonna say now? You yeah. know what I mean? Especially at a, at a higher weight class. So man, this is good. This is good for me. You know what I mean? Uh, it's gonna cement my legacy even more. Yeah. You know what I mean? uh, uh, lastly, just to clarify, um, you plan on defending both belts if, if you if you were to win it, but there's not there's a possibility you might stay at 185 there. Nah, not I'll go back that. to I'll yeah. go back to middleweight. You know what I mean? Of course, I want to defend at both divisions, but uh, yeah, I'll stay at welterweight. We never know, man. You never know. I'm, like I'm saying, I'm, I might like yeah, this yeah, yeah. cut too much. You know what I mean? If I feel I mean, good. It, it sounds like in this process in training camp, you're feeling good yeah. fighting for a 185 fight. Yes, I feel really good fighting for this. Well, I mean, train at least training and everything. It feels good. You know, I like feeling a little bigger. Yeah. Don't have to worry about cut. You know what I mean? I just can't go crazy with the food. You know, because I still got to be healthy. You know what I mean? To perform better. But uh, so far, everything is going good. But uh, no, I'm definitely going back to, to welterweight as well to defend that title there. Yeah. All right, well, appreciate the time. Best right, luck right. against Musasi, appreciate man. You, man. Uh, and good luck, you know, trying to become champ champ. Yes, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.